Uko zolima pigo kuna. Olpula mapigo kwa ye wapipete kai miyane. Inyo ne nubtigo nubiyo ningo. Etwe benge zvini ne mafi. Iku lingo memnandi ya ya shukansa unyaga omusha kumtala. Nyo ne ne zikiti kiti za balande la bailande layo. Za memeza isa zitondolo zela. Za tisi ayaz le nyoni. Ya itule lo koko betu. Abanye. Abatu. Izbongo Zokos FM. Sizpalelo yangu stata ta soju. Ukos FM. Luhamba Pambi. Sabona sa kumgele kukozi FM TV. Kamala mgu siya mtlongo siya bonga kulu na nyaka 2023 uguti ube naati. Sloksi kona nje su kozi FM TV. Nyaaz guti sipuye signigeze ipreik emoyeni no mglalele kukbili. Ebona lente mglalele kukbugeli TV no msagazu kukulili. Ile nte nzobe nienza kinyak tabanga. Nyingwa yuguti kningo kuklabu mtwele emoyeni na kona la kukozi FM TV. Uche labanyek kungene ku www.ukozifm.co.za ukendezele uthi ukozi FM TV kade ngikhuluma nje nesambili sithana mhlanje ukuthi eh konje sibe mngaka iminyaka esemsakazweni ngakhumbula masibale yakho ukuthi ayibo mina sekube eyo 17 17 kwamina sengine inwele zimhlophe ngoku eradio kodwa ke yena angazi mhlambezi ku iku 30 bani noma iyela ku 40 iminyaka asekhona emsakazweni ngikhuluma ngalo engathi i remember in 2020 during lockdown mm. we did a live sasikhuluma about voice over to artistry yep. i chose to call you a radio practitioner mm. i think that's an accurate term masikhuluma ngawe ah uh, wena ufundile njomani i Go with that. Boba, ubambe iminga emni nga lela langa sa skuluma ngawe voice over e pimbo lako nang endelelo sugwa ze nga luguti uitai se nga lo upili nga lika kuligazi e kangi suene si buga gumabona gote na se msaga zuen kota gwen zizi nte ini ngi futi lo en kuluma ngaye ilo o msaga zi usesebe nze nje nge radio manager e kundene ini nge za shluga shlugene e nagege la e talent waba o programs manager wa mo kala ngfiga nga e msaga zuen makosi koza. Baba. Njoman. Come back. Eh, I know I'm afraid to ask you, Noma. Njoba, you can't go show with me being there. Umlale, umlale, no mumbugel. Iko kubil. I know. Ikomb. Ikomb. Nzolale, no msagazwen. Yes. Item lele slaziyo. Eh, when usuve look waketu guti uzulbizi slow sengwa tiako. Kunjal. Yeah. How come? Um, there's there's many versions. Um, ekala iti. Into njengo was njengo msaga zi into estuwa le gugu yisho na masi si kutisi izwe uma mlalele angena ati msaga zi anga kutiskat sako ngzolele msaga zi wene then apeke pasu kringo azizo taino nineezo baku mana but there's another bitter sweet one so gune nsizwa la say she le mklaben u Victoros Junior nganga sebenza gusin stash and corner kwa ba nengi nga yen ai 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 content producer yam yeah saba nengi nga moyen watena eh guna guti before azama guti sifali 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 kulu yeah wal sisa lungi sisi ndo yeah sifali kulu kulu la about ten minutes sure okay peli kulu we back on air now yeah and I'm like how Victor nel kulu nel utau mabon alas nel kulu tu mwa nga Ten minutes on radio. Let's go, Lelo. Johnny Timba, DM Saga. DM Saga. DM Saga. Wow. So I, I, for some, I had never heard that song. Mm-hmm. Jigen says we are cool. So I was thirteen. Yeah. Um, but it struck a chord. Give me now when I heard it, and also the fact that it was like a, a, I think it's a love story. Correct. Um, about you know one day I'll build on that, and eventually I did record a song. Called Nizolela Msagazwe, yeah. which was de- derived from Johnny Timbers. DM Sagas. DM Sagas. Nice one. And I wanted to go somewhere further with it, and I never forgot that, mm. which is how we arrive at Nizolela yeah, right, yeah. So it's 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 kind of paying homage to people who've been there mm. before, but it also makes sense in the context of of uh, Sagas. Yeah. Yeah. So I think everybody knowing about Skatinas Ning, and as you would know, Njengo Msagazi. But until somebody makes it a book, owns it, or makes it a song, a slogan of like, sorts. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And may his soul rest in peace. And yes. as I said, it's a bittersweet. That's yeah. the bitter part of Victor yeah. Rose. Yeah. You know, someone who's been in radio for a very long time was Shiawak. Mm. As a creative, how difficult is it to come to a point where you say, yes, I'm using this slogan, or 
or after editing and publishing, you're like, ah, no, 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 let's take it back. Because I know, and we, I think we agreed, which it was 13 years ago when we sat, Gwenyama Restaurant Gateway, and uh -huh. we're speaking about this very book. Yeah. And I mean, you're already planning your Nangale Soskati, Sizo Puma Manj. How difficult is it for a creative like you who wants maybe something perfect and that pedantic, maybe even OCD-ness mm. coming out wanting the near perfect product? Uh, I can say, see, uh, <laughs> the, the book, I think it, it came to light and I, I, I touch on it. Mm. Um, when I discovered in Malimnyag, mm. 21 years. <laughs> Maybe it's a challenge for you. <laughs> 21 years yeah. was when I said, I think I've worked a journey mm. that uh, would be of use to me, Nabani, to just reflect. Yeah. Right? So from 21 years, I've been having this idea. But now it took me nine years to complete. Yeah. Right? So, and I, I started to write, started to write, started in Abamba, in Abamba, yeah, then of course, you know, life happens. Yeah. So, but the the the, the first problem or you know, challenge was, um, is the book going to be just about Impiloya Yonk? Mm -hmm. One, two, is it just going to be about sagas? Mm. And then if Abandu are not interested, Gulom Kak, yeah, would it bore them? Yeah. Three, mm. in those particular topics. Yeah. Four. Do I follow a chronological in terms of Guti? No, that's the thing. Then, then, then. Even with this interview, I was thinking, should we do a chronological? Should we just jay all over the place? Well, I'm a creative, so I'm all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when is yeah. 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 So, so eventually, um, I then got to a point where, like, okay, cool. Uh, I then started um, looking at other people's books and then eventually stopped. Mm -hmm. Because you know why? If you want to do a project and then you start focusing on other people's projects, yeah. There's a danger, Uguti, the project, your project will sound like that Yeah, project. correct. So I love autobiographies. I think there's nothing richer than somebody telling a story from their perspective, mm, yeah. which has also motivated me to write this book. Yeah. So um, the, 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 the challenge for me became one of, I've got to do it myself. Uh, and it eventually got to a model that, as you will see when you read the book, it goes back and forth. Yeah. It doesn't start somewhere and it's like, okay, there's this, 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 but we'll come back to it. Yeah. This, 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 it'll come back to it. And then now the more interesting one is Lezindo is a poppy act. Yeah. Where Umang Zopalang Osiya, Meleng, Tolim Vome Gusiya, Goti. And they're like, okay, how much? But then Mandy so picks out and Osiya, Goti, you know, I'm in Kumblagunje, yeah, Kumblagunje. And then, so you, you then have to like. Remember Sound of the Titi? Remember the gentleman I used to work with? who was wanting to own that and was like, nah, dude, you know it's me. <laughs> you see, so, 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 and also then uh, the, the other difficulty is that at the time I, I wrote Lengwat, yeah. I was in management in a station. How much of the truth can I tell? Ah. Mm. You see? Mm. So, and it turns out, you know, there's somebody upstairs or downstairs, depending on to Kwanzeban, <laughs> who is guiding you to say that when the book, when I really got a chance to promote the book, I was independent as I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm not linked to a particular station. Yeah. So I can really write and promote as the truth as I experienced it. Yeah. So the long story short is that it's 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 easy but it's difficult. It's easy because I don't have to go and research koop, 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 koop. It's hard because I'm doing it. But it's also easy because um, I think to, to your earlier question is that I'm self-published, mm. so I made this thing happen. Mm. I didn't have to go and ask for permission. For example, if I'm like, uh, in my head, the vision is in Zorela M. Sagazweni, we're going with, yeah. I don't have to go and ask approval for a board. In fact, I know, um, and I hope I can drop his name in. Uh, sure. Uh, 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 yeah. Same thing, he wanted, he wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And then publishers were like, eh, eh, and then it turned out to be Domino's. And yeah. I'm like. <sighs> this shame would have worked. You see, yeah. but they see it from their perspective because they are putting their muscle and resources mm -hmm. to push the book. Yeah. So here, it's entirely my baby. Yeah. I could have released it at any particular point, but uh, I think for a timing perspective, the book was actually launched on my birthday, November 30. Wow. And I launched around the country, Nasiswatini, yeah. and the final launch date, Eteguini, 
was on the 11th of December, which was my daughter's birthday. Wow. So Very we, symbolic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there's, 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 there's usually a method to my madness. <laughs> so yeah, it, 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 it's difficult and it's easy, but I think there's an opportunity that I discovered in writing the book, it's very therapeutic. Yeah. Because it takes you to a place and forces you to confront certain things. Because if you go back and you look at a particular chapter in your life, mm. like, how was I feeling? Mm. Who impacted me? How did I impact? What I know now, does it help me? Does it hurt me? Do I need to heal? Allow me to start here and in getting into it. Yeah. The seasons, ups and downs of, of a radio personality's life. Yeah. How much with your radio as a radio presenter, where you are at in life has affected your output on radio? That's A. B, how much of it have, were you willing to be vulnerable about in order to help aid your great product? I know that certain presenters don't, they shy completely away of that from that, but others, they bring that in and how that tied in into you in your radio career, bringing the backdrop of your life on air, so to speak. So, Ukrimela generally or in the book? In, well, generally, generally, yeah. Okay, let me answer it this way. So, um, in the struggle to make the book appeal to a broad mass of people, yeah. I try to touch a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And I think in that, a lot of people have perceptions about you. And I think a lot of people would, I guess, but But there are those things, but I think as a public figure, I'm actually very private. Yes, you are. Because I do know and I've heard amazing stories about me that I'm like, how? <laughs> so is it because I didn't let people into my private space that they have to manufacture something? Yeah. And then that like grows legs and becomes like, ah, no, Gunjal. Yeah. I mean, at some point I was married to an Italian lady. I was married to some white person. And there's all sorts of stories, <laughs> you know? So, so um, in the book, I, I, I touch on a couple of them. Um, let me give an example yeah. of... Uh, being famous or popular is, is something that mentally you can't really be prepared for. Yeah. You know when they say, I know, and I'm going to get Yeah. But then if you take that and get it becomes a nation, it becomes a globe, it becomes a universe. Yeah. How do you deal with that? It becomes a walk in the mall and let's take selfies. Yeah, bonak. And then becomes a, oh, yeah, it's like a phone with being yeah. And then humble being a oh, hey, bo. <laughs> so, yeah. You see, so I think an ordinary person who not in the industry doesn't understand what that's like. Yeah. And then, then you hide yourself, but oh yeah, it's like before you to check on us, and then you come in like, oh, when's mm. Daniela? <laughs> so there are parts of that, for example, whereby I, I I got opportunities to make money and more money that I can dream I could have dreamed of. Yeah. But wasn't educated financially of like this is what you need to do. I mean, I touch on the fact that I. Yo. I touch on the fact that um, I, I, I was in certain stations where I got on, yo, messenger, on part way in Tlel. Yeah. Ah, like, hey, Makosi, yo, great guy. Next thing, I'm fed to Siabong. How? <laughs> and then, Bengi what happened? Yeah. And these are the stories that people don't know about. But there's another thing about me in Angazi, I got into radio by complete accident. Really? So I always talk about Uguti, Angazi, Impilo, Yosia, Nolindas, being like, yo, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to Yeah. My difference was that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. That's the difference. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. That was my dream. So I think part of it was that when I eventually got into it, and we can get into it now at some other point, yeah. Oguti, um, I studied mm -hmm. BCom, marketing, mm -hmm. a business administration, and then I got into radio, just as you know, I is I'm an inclined. And I always thought at the back of my head, because I got into this by accident, yeah. and then I'd have to maybe use my degree to do something. That was 30 years ago. <laughs> You see You're the still, difference. Yeah. So, but it, it, but in that period where I've ha I've had jobs, you know, mm. contracts uh, terminated, mm. and 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 I've always had the thing of like, this is a cool thing to do. To do. But should at any point the sustainability thereof maybe a different case. But should at any point mm. I have to like, okay, that was fun. 
Gingeza Ngala. Senga Sebenza Gemanch. I was like, oh, okay, I will be able to do that. I trusted myself enough mm -hmm. to say, whatever happens, at least I've studied Nathanisa one or yeah. two or three. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I think I, 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 I really believe in myself, mm. um, in my abilities. And unfortunately, how life starts for me anyway, to say, in fact, I was discovered at campus radio. Mm -hmm. But I was in, and uh, you can go far. I'm like, hey, hey no, I'm just, yeah. I'm just. Yeah. And then you get a lot of people, hey, I'm fit. And I'm like, hey, then you eventually like, I'm trying to buy a Again, Zam. Yeah. And that's how my radio career started in terms of, I uh, started at, from there. People, One of the founding presenters. So you guys were in the first lineup? Um, so, so I discovered what there was a campus radio station. Mm -hmm. Campus means Basagazela, Basagazela, Aguma, Dining That's, Hall, Exeni, Emmin, and Tamba. Then there was a dream to grow uh, Dome Music Radio into a Durban Youth Radio, Uguti, Sagazela, Tegunoma Petel, just for inch. Yeah. So there was that vision. So, Bahamba Banba Puma was graduate, and then I was one of the people who was then left to continue the vision uh -huh. to the point that when we then had to apply for a license, I was one of the people who went to apply for a license. Ah. So then before ICASA, it was IBA. Okay. So I went and made a presentation on behalf of Istesh and we got that one year license. Wow. But in getting that one year license, I had to do the voiceovers. You? I became program manager. I had to schedule the Basagas. <laughs> and that's where I met Ola Kisifata, Alex Mtiane. I was about to ask, yes. which, do you remember the crop that came out of that season? So Lucky Sefata, Alex Mtiane, Keta, okay. I believe. Uh, Smangele Shabalali, you might not know, she, she think did, did seven or two. Sounds very familiar. Tando Makunga. Uh -huh. Tando Makunga was at ECR and eventually I think was station manager at Highfeld at uh -huh. some point. Leko She's, M? No, Le no, Leko, no, Leko I met later. Okay, later. Leko I met later. So, yeah, there was a crop. And I made sure I said Leko M, because that's how <laughs> he went by Leko M before he became really? Leko Really? I don't even remember. <laughs> then he had a competition with the lion. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, and then, Mapalani Mfundis. Okay. Um, so, he was studying medicine, mm. but had the radio passion. And eventually, when he left UKZN, set up a, 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 a organization that helped to help startups. Okay. So he was instrumental in Vibe, he was instrumental in, in oh, wow. FM. Oh, wow. So he helped them to say, no, let me be the middleman. Yeah. And he's got into some other projects. So those are the names that come to mind. But also what's keen on that, what's key, Oguti, and I touch on this in the book, Oddwax, which was the University of Durban Westville, Oh. They also had the campus station, they oh. call it Oddwax. Oh, okay. Uh, so when we got the license, we had to, as a sister station, now nah, both spending as a two, but to come Basagas. Okay. And then I got word to go to how Konum Sagaz, who CUDW has now made it big time. And then somebody brought him for an interview. And I was like, I see little India. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I'm Kenny Maestri. Much. Kenny Maestri. Ah. <laughs> so Kenny Maestri, I then, after the interview, found out what's the story. So basically he said, no, no, no. He was at Oddwax. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, where's on a station? Yes. Where they had a trainee slot. You try your luck, you get in. He said, that's how he got in. That's how he got Just Ice in. Just, Just Ice was also on Oddwax. Yeah, he said, yeah. if I'm interested, that's yeah. what I should do. Masha Bella was producing. He was also at UDW at the time. So I'm guessing those yeah. are the same. So, so, so then, so he's the one who said to me, like, if you want to try your luck, do that. And it took me a year. But that's how I got into capital, to capital. because of Kenny's, yeah. Kenny's advice. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine because um, Genawa with DYR, yeah. and yes, getting multifaceted because you are now pioneering and getting all these things and getting the, the station to be a well-oiled machine and actually operate and getting yeah. the talent. But I'd imagine with the philosophy, your school of radio came with the mentorship that you must have gotten at Capital. I don't know. Or Banabantu that we're really injecting. <laughs> Um, you see what you now mm, know or what you've always known and gone by. So the, the funny thing about Impilo is half the time you are not aware that you should be absorbing mm. deliberately. Yeah. What's the fancy term they use? Intentionally. Intentionally, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Intentionally absorbing because it's oxygen. Yeah. But 
I was like, I don't know where this thing is going. Yeah. I don't think it'll go very far. Yeah. So I was never really that serious about polishing my craft. Mm. When I got to Capital, I was blown away. Uh, Fred, those, P- Fred Pearson was there? Fred Pearson was my station manager. Yeah. When I get to Capital Radio, um, the late Alan Pierce, mm. Golden Voice. Mm. I don't know if you can say, mention products, oh, links and turn. <laughs> his, his voice was that deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alan Khan. Okay, yes, Alan Khan. Uh, Dean, Dian McPherson, news editor. Okay. Raggedy Archery, the late. Yeah. Richard Jardine did sports. Yeah. Uh, I just missed out on U, U Dixie because he left earlier. Mola. Yes. Wow. Um, was he the first black face, well, black guy on, on, on Radio no, 5? No, because remember, on, on... On Radio 5? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I know he was big there. He was very I, big. But I don't know if he was. Yeah. So he was like the prototype before. What did you think about the continuing to present on SAPC 1? And the style of Salama Singh is a figure. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So... Uh, it was just crazy. In Capital at that time, I understand, I think it was the same time where it was only one of two radio stations in the country, uh, AI independent. The yeah. others were under um, Sagazil, SAPC, because the other one was 702, right? Which was in the Northwest, Boputatuana. Mm. Capital had come from um, Zimkul, but Kanabe Sagazil, South Beach, am I wrong? Zimkulu, yeah. Joburg, Potts and Johns, and then eventually Eteguini, yeah. but Kashiache. Base was uh, Transkai, ne? Yes. At the time. Yes. Transkai Siska. Yes. Um, yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. No, good job. So, uh, yeah, uh, but I think it could potentially have been the first independent. Yeah, I think it was. So, to the point that we were sure when Gutwano um, Guzo, Guzo Daisa, Itesh, RPN came out from SAPC, mm-hmm. what to our East Coast, mm. and Banbani, Banbani, Banbani. What culture? RPN. Oh, yes. RPN. <laughs> but uh, so um, I got there and I found Izina. Pezu. Mm. But still, I was just having fun. Mm. But what used to happen, and this is what I touch on in the book, the people I was closest to are Kenny and uh, Ice. Ice. Because what used to happen, uh, La South Beach, ne? there used to be a 24-hour food joint. Okay. So, uh, Kenny Macy was doing afternoon drive, so three to six. Mm-hmm. Well, then my footer jams there. My footer jams. <laughs> Kick ass, Kenny. <laughs> Seven to ten, just ice. Yeah. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. My course it was. Yes. Wow. So what would happen is the guys would go, so Kenny would wait for ice or shies. Mm-hmm. They'd go to that joint. Yeah. Nang I mean, I'd meet them there. Wow. And literally every night, we'd sit down and just talk radio and talk iron radio. Iron sharpens iron. Talk. Yeah. So those are the guys who groomed me. Yeah. In fact, Kenny was telling me the other day that actually I also used to do traffic for him. Wow. And the one thing I noticed is that um, when Kenny did his show, he stood. Mm-hmm. I was like, why? Glenn like, still stands. And I was like, no, it's posture. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it should be. So little things like those. Mm. Uh, so I said, but uh, <laughs> so it's those things that you pick up from. But Correct. they are the ones who, you know, literally would tell me, don't do this, try this, in, 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 in. But also what's interesting is that my presentation style, because I used to record my shows on my cassette. I was about to ask, um, Uguti, from that school yeah. and that kind of influence, what was the basic radio style guide? That you think maybe at times man Jerry isn't they talali so I was gonna go. You must begin with the end in mind. Yeah. <laughs> you must understand Ushoni Pum se um seven so exas. Manje Ankabanguti um sagas ya shonish. Mhm. Because it seems like anybody can do it. Can do it. But Tata Osazi, why? But you're high. Nangum pop. Uzo bontu in Zanja. Yeah. And loko gung patag. Gabi 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 Because. To so a point of lamenting, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. And it's interesting. This is one thing Upop Mapen and I agreed on. Mm. The late. Yeah. Because there is his. The Gemma. He is. The Gemma is the, the prototype for urban black radio. Uh, excellence. 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 Yes. Yeah. 
So he used to say the same thing, like, why are we people being parachuted? <laughs> I know like, he's got uh, millions of followers. But we are all umsagas here. Because that's where you need to start. Mm. So respect the craft. And what's interesting is that even now, mind you, Utola Guti, Abantu, Aba, 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 Ekta, Gumabona Guti, they cry about the same thing. Mm. But, ah, I mean, I studied for Lente Genza. Yeah. Manje Bangl Telosa Ziwai, Batinje, because, because, because. Yeah. So that's the biggest problem. Mm. Secondly, if you don't know the craft, you, you won't take it further. Mm. You won't know when you're doing wrong. Mm. And also, you're teaching. Yeah. So, my thing was like, you've got to be tight in your links. You need to know where you're going. Less you is need to more. have a punchline. Less is more. Less is more. I and it's it just so sad that the other problem now is the craft is one. Mm. Why? One, social media. Mm-hmm. But Tata is in essence, social media, but like the content. Yeah. But the content is in the same way. Social media. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to go to the same way. I'm no internet for a week. Mm-hmm. Should there be no radio? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you can't do something, because it must come from your perspective. Yeah. And if you can't add your perspective, in, uh, inject your opinions and ideas, mm. or be the voice of somebody like how? Yes, I understand. Mm. Social commentary. So you, you must have the skills. Yeah. But what, what, what social media does, it robs you of that. It, it has the beginning and the end. <laughs> so what is your role? So what have you done? Yeah. What is your role? You understand that you have a role to do. Yeah. But it's a basic thing that I, I came across in the show Anelem Dot, the broadcaster, Correct. breakfast on. And she said, it's an old thing that is relevant even today. You must either be interested or interesting. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Which is to say, and you're interested in the things your listener is interested in. in. Yeah. But Abantu Babelai push Achenda Yabu. But Kwabona, they're not interesting. It's mm. mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's the other problem. People don't know what they're doing wrong. But then, other party do they not, do they not see this? Ish. And the next level of the of Ish. the investigation is about other party are they empowered to see the flaws? Because if they're not, that's a bigger problem. Where does that empowerment come from? Is it from a case of Mike? Come on, you, you independent now. We're no she. Oh yeah, good job. We're no she. Good job. <laughs> so, so and and I, and, I, and I come across this every day where Abantu Bakala and Umpati Wabo, Nenga Wuti Umpati doesn't understand. Mm. They 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 use theory, and then basically they say, "Amanda, no ma Amanda, no ma Amanda, abakunya zoye ni school." Yeah. Good. Corporate Ngoba, governance. Ngoba ngiti. Yeah. And you're like, okay, Nenga Wuti Umpati, but Nenga Wuti Umpati doesn't understand. Yeah. Kwe. Yeah. And to also understand what um sagas we are shinch. It's the I the, the if you come and do the radio I did in nineteen ninety four. Yeah. In twenty twenty three. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. Similarly, you can't Can you not use the same framework though? You can use the basics. Yeah. But the point really is about the demands of um sagas. Um sagas in 1994 yeah. are not the same. Mm-hmm. And you would know. Mm. Oh, social media, you've got to be present, you've got to be do this, you've got to do this. As a content producer, sure. you've got to be everywhere. Oh, absolutely. So, so have you upskilled yourself, Jerome mm. Sagas? The same way, Umangizwa, Abasagazi, Abasagazela, East Asian Pagat. Yeah. All of them want to be, of course, we have to go to law, Usagazela, Oguti, one day, Angena, a prototype. Kansas City, no Linda Smear. Yeah. Yeah. There's even a worse story I could tell you. Yeah. So, I saw a in Tlelo. I then had to recruit Abasagas. So, one gentleman who is now late, they got to me, they are now at the station. What do you think? What do you think? Ah, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I mean, what do is what happened? Yes. As in a party, a inkinga, a itemo angna. But in the in the lobuti, unge ne boardroom, zogzawa kelly storm, unge zogutik saga zanja. Yeah. He got me into the boardroom. Atang kumes. All I heard was Linda's B. 
So my problem is there's that big problem mm. with community radio stations. Like they, they, so radio has a gift and a curse in that anti but you should take that and, and learn the basics, but don't become labo. Mm. Mm. So it's so, that, how do I learn from them, but not try and regurgitate how they were and, and still in Pum and Gibei mean? Ah, get it, cozy, 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 cozy. Because <laughs> it, it's like one of those things, if I could kill yeah. certain things, where um, Omusara Zunga and Moena Ati, or it's drizzling. No, none of that. It's about uh, <laughs> uh, something about um, Guzoba Mnandi Ngendele Mangalsayo. Oh, uh, like the punchlines, almost like the stage we concert. Everybody does this. Yes. It's always a great day. No, <laughs> no, don't lie. So the point about what when you yeah. do that is Okamba Mang, but you're also being lazy because you're not coming with something new to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When or any art form, you're given a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. Paint that canvas. Why should you use the same paintbrushes as is all? Mm. I understand where Mklambo Mundu Utu Mengote as a show in the 80s, mm. but think mm. that's lazy. It's crutches. Mm. And people just go into it. It is I, crutches. You know what I mean? So you yeah. get into a point where like, okay, Umsaka Zozalande will say exactly the same. Yeah. You're not adding voice, value. Voice, voice, projection of voice, is, yeah. does that still count? You spoke about radio being done differently than in 94. Very, very good question. Because Voice of God was the radio voice back then. Very now, Nangusia, with this, can even be called timid voice. Yeah. You know? So, um, <laughs> I, I, I do master classes. Oh, yeah. And this is a particular topic. And this is how I answer that question. It's yeah. a very valid question. When radio started, um, it was announcers. Mm -hmm. You announce, you back announce the music. Then we moved to DJs. Mm -hmm. ah, fast music. Because you're mimicking in the clubs. Charts, that the model of chart shows. Top 40. Yeah, right. top 40. Then you move to um, uh, radio presenter. Mm. Because it's a show. Mm. You must present a show. Yeah. You don't just, I mm. know, only see mic. Mm. Then from radio presenter, you became personality. Mm. So you need to have the personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you have don't so you see that it's not enough to have a great voice. Mm. But I'll come to that point. It's not you, enough to know how to present, but now there's the personality. Yes. Yeah. Now we are even one step further. Mm -hmm. It's called talent. Yeah. Do you understand? Now the talent is about on the socials. Mm. What are you like in a well rounded? Crowd? When can we can we invite a, a client to use you yes. to do our social Influencer media? Influencer gigs. Yeah. So my point about it is that, so if you come with voice of God, they're like, okay, great, but are you talent? Ish. The same way in Yoba, um, you invited me on a podcast about voiceovers. Yeah. If all you're bringing is a voice, what must I do with that? Mm. Because similarly, who have great voices, mm. but can't read. <laughs> yeah. You see, so, so, so each time the goalposts of what you need to do, is a shift. Yeah. And, and when somebody says to me, oh, call him Shanam, I'm like, okay, but yeah, hey, hey, yeah, man, I'm like, okay, that's great. Yeah. It means they'd be awesome in 94. <laughs> and this is the hard truth that people are not told, coming back to the point of if you're at management level, you must be able to see, good yeah, yeah, yeah. Squat how some, it's evolved, yeah, and what's required. But there's also places. Mm. Because times are not the same. Mm. Where ngzo ngzo dingo DJ, ngeskate still. Yes. Ngzo dinga i present kate still. Ngzo dinga announcer. Ngzo dinga i personality. Mm. But i talent I cannot not have in the prime shows. So, so if in Germany ngenga o ngaba o mundo otrega in tel o i teche tis, I'm like okay. I suspect do they have talent? Ish. Where is the talent, or is the talent misplaced, or do they have? Uh, an ab overabundance of uh, presenters and not enough personality. Ish. 
Yeah. So, so these are the things that as own parties should know, as own sagas you should be aware of to say, am I at that level? And honest enough to yourself. In King Appella, it's like idols. Ah, yeah. Ah, kuleg above. Ah, kuleg. Yeah. Then they get there, and then we are entertained. In mm. Kinga is the more we repeat that pattern. What happens is abantu ba ba choyezo uguti standard silapa pants. Yeah. Because we have presenters, we don't have talent. Yeah. Yeah. And then people accept the bar, and this is the problem with influencers. In my case, who are not ready presenters, they they keep the bar low. Mm -hmm. And then reinforce that where that's where the bar is. And then Babi Zabanye Gabag Leo Velia Uba my influence with Snatis Nayans. Look at the link. So what happens is over time, people don't start taking radio seriously. Seriously. So then as as a umuntu om clabe aenga onga onga kasa istesh gelatis. Yeah. You're like, I don't want to be on this medium. <laughs> because they're clowns. Mm. But there's a very real thing, Jenga Mundu O who has ex been exposed to no. some things and studied, that the, the, the rand or people are spending less on traditional media, traditional media defined as radio, radio print TV. and TV, yeah. and going to social media. Mm -hmm. So if you are not attractive enough, Mina, I will get more value on social media. On social media. So there's a, there's a real reason for us to upskill our talent, yeah. to be talent. It's, it's becoming a masterclass, Javale. I knew it. I knew it. So, logo mele kutazo kuti ozo tole ngwatin lego sikota ya mazui bela nje gea chulo ngwatin astati kev sleno makosi kozo. Ses buile sleno makosi kozo one mnyage mninge msaga zueni namtange sleno na nge ngayo kuti yonke le experience uzamil kuti ayifage ngwatin slogo se ngwatin city gizo la lele msaga zueni I'll listen on the radio thanks so, ikazi le leo ndabu kuti isugapi was Tazel, Gutwangan Anja, and Msazo in his Kati Efunda, Eskungan Sempundo, Epageme, and Ogutwangan Anja, and Capital Radio, and just the impact and the influence that had on his radio philosophy. Nala is a figure called Anjanga Manj. Sisatin Tangan, we in studio. So let's stay in studio. Sure. The, the whole thing of now a presenter having a team. Um, being now the norm, it now just sounds like Maxelek Thomas shows apart from the 9 to 12, the mid morning, Kuketo is co presenting or Zoo radio format. Where did, how does that come along, and how would you comment when it comes to the chemistry or the lack thereof of the personalities or the presenters in one studio having a conversation? So, the first concept of, of Zoo Radio is things come and go in terms of fashion, mm -hmm. right? And somebody somewhere said, no, 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 you must have lots of people. Mm -hmm. Excel. Um, Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. So doesn't sound like he's your favorite guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. I'm, I'm just trying to get the, the argument. So yeah. it's about you get the main host, mm -hmm. you get the co-host, but you then get the traffic person, and you get the sports person, mm -hmm. and you get the news person. Mm. Remember we spoke about, I think earlier, um, about personality. Mm. Strictly speaking, the people who need personality are the first voice and the second voice, mm -hmm. or the main host and the co-host. But the zoo format mm -hmm. forces everybody to have a personality a because person. what happens, pardon the pun, every character mm. on the show has a personality. Mm. They have a, a character. place, a character yeah. in people's minds. So, for example, we're going to come out of a sports weekend and it's going to be Sundowns, Chiefs. Yeah. I'm, bombing, I'm not doing Chiefs Pirates <laughs> because Pirates is not doing well. <laughs> yeah. Join so, the club, excuse the pun. Exactly. So <laughs> then, um, <laughs> so we come out of a weekend. Let's assume that the, the, the main host yeah. is not big on, on Ipol. He or she will lean on the sports presenter. Mm. But the sports presenter must present it in a way such that. Is a we engage your main host. Yeah. yeah. But also the, the, the sports presenter must iron lalele in a way that. Yeah. So they must be cognizant mm. of how the impact a football game has generally. Mm. But you must have a personality. Because if you just stick to figures, results. You may as well wait for the sports bulletin. 
at half past. You see. Yeah. So sometimes, and you have numerous examples, even Okozin, whereby the sports presenter has such a big personality, they overshadow mm. the co-host. Mm. Right? Yeah. Similarly, news, similarly, similar, similar. As far as I know, um, SAPC generally, the news reader doesn't leave with Les Institute. They just get sent the Commercial. News. Commercial. Commercial, right. Commercial, yeah. So they have ample room to develop their personality. Yeah, so th th those would be... Sure. So the others now have to find a way. How do you integrate into the zoo concept? Because if you can't integrate, you just stand there. Yeah. Similarly, imagine a show that has all the characters integrated for this big moment. It amplifies whatever it is you're going to do. Correct. Whereas, typically, you just have the main host and the co-host. Mm -hmm. So you miss out on the juice mm. because you did not utilize the resources. And by resources, it includes the characters on the show. Yeah. You see. So, but then there's the flip side of that, which says not all zoos need that many animals mm. for two reasons. One, the personality is the main host on his own, or on her own, just needs to bring in news, traffic, sports. Yeah. There's another problem. Uh, and this is where it gets one step. Are you taking notes? You know? <laughs> Radio where, 101. Exactly. Yeah. Where the main host is an A type and a Gatandig Lion is a Yin guy. Mm. Because if you force somebody there and there's no chemistry, it's like the question would be Yin in the Epoca Uwuti Abene co host if they have a personality on their own. Yeah. Very weird, wonderful example. Yeah. Did Linda Spear ever need a co host? That's called my Tunis. No. No. Now, there might be reasons why they would want to pair him with somebody else. Yeah. But it's just looking at, and this is why I'm saying you need to be open-minded about seeing what this thing is, what it can do, what's in the way, what can free up resources, yeah. what can hinder it, what can take it to the next level. Yeah. So if you're not seeing these things, you will start to fix the wrong things. You mm. see what I'm saying? Mm. So there's a place for a zoo format, but... It's, it shouldn't be a one-size-fits-all. What does that say about management, the people that hire and choose teams? What does that say about the process thereof? Because I know if Makosi is the main host, yep. with certain station, Unai is given that liberty to help choose the rest of the team in order to make that zoo radio yep. be as great as it can be. That, that's, a, that's a management call. Mm -hmm. But the management should be aware that ultimately, if there's no chemistry, it hurts the talent, it hurts the brand, it hurts the show. It's a lose-lose, mm. which is different from a talent who doesn't want to play with other kids. You just need to say, no, 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 you yeah. will do this because yeah. we are dictating that this will happen. And then so, the station getting into that whole next season will reshuffle from the same talent in order to try to come work out the, the best pop possible um, formula yeah, yeah, for yeah, each yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, you also look at, um, based on your, 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 your setup, uh, as a stash. Yeah. Do we think long term in two seasons or one year in case it doesn't work and then we can get out? Yeah. So to answer your question, um, it depends on where management is. is. If they understand that, look, A, this will give consistency. Yeah. B, if there's a problem, I can fix it. Mm. But you need to figure out what things can you tinker with. So, for example, I won't mention names you'll find that maybe the traffic person has a bigger personality and that they actually can be a character on their own. That should say something to you. Mm. Or you might want to say, traffic, you have great personality, but you're overshadowing mm. the host. Don't do that. Are but progress that managers that... still snooping, though? Because that's the snooping element. So... Are it... they still snooping, snooping, no ma i admin? Let me answer it truthfully. This way. In the good old days, <laughs> cross, cross, <laughs> with, a program manager had talent that didn't need managing. They were just an administrator. Mm. Time goes, the program, the presenters become more popular and there's ego issues. But the station is keenly aware that these are the cash cows who bring in the money yep. and this is why people listen. Yep. So we must be careful how we treat them. Yeah. Right? Because that's Kuma Makuniso. It's animal farm. <laughs> All animals are created equal. Yeah. 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 But um, the, the, the issue then became, 
it's always that battle of like who's bigger, who has the bigger brand, because a presenter is a sub brand of this because the the station gives the presenter the the platform yeah. to be as great as they are, and they can take their services elsewhere. Yeah. But whilst they're there, they should conform to the station's mandate and directive, and the roles. Yeah. But you would know, for example, that you you will never treat Messi the same way you treat their goalkeeper. The conversations that happen behind closed doors don't even begin oh, like, how man. come? No, it's mm. got nothing to do with you. Oh, my God, my office, oh, my God, the pencil, my Ah, good luck. <laughs> so, so it's about you being, I think, empathetic mm -hmm. and also being, having, because I think the problem is we have too many people about Shan Pila, but their emotional intelligence is not where it should be. Mm -hmm. And they use the intelligence to enforce something that should use emotional intelligence to achieve the same result. Mm. I was going to be Now I hear it. So, so it's that battle of like, okay, cool. Let's make sure the presenter plays between the lines, but let's make the lines gray. Too often we make the lines black and white. Yeah. Because they're creative. You force them to think out the box. Yeah. Then when they think out the box, you put them back in the box. Mm. That doesn't make sense. Yes, you know, I'm buying or shine or so as it, but but you need this, to this will have bring creativity. me to BCCSA because there were, at some points with certain stations it was encouraged, it excited when the envelope was pushed to that level. Mm. BCCSA, oh no, but you see the thing about it is it's because the danger. This is where the danger is. Yeah. Because I also have come across Umpat who has said, these guys don't even take me to the BCSA, they're not even trying. Mm. But what they're not aware is that when they came into that particular scenario, they brainwashed people to say, look, you will do everything by the book. <laughs> and then one day it's like, throw the book away. And people don't know what that's like. Yeah. So you should make up your mind. Yeah. Right? Um, and similarly, because I've been to the PCSA a couple of times. Yes, you have. You know, representing certain yeah. stations. Suspended and a few times, <laughs> fired more times. <laughs> when you get there, they say, we don't have a rule book. This also helps us. So let's hear the argument, mm. right? Um, but there are certain no-nos which are just given, like religious, mm. uh, if political, it, uh, you know, political. If Mshambe in Ghana and stuff like that, mm. you know what I mean. Th those are basic. Mm. But the other things, yeah, great. Mm. But it's that whole thing of like, how great do you want your presenters to be? You need to create the environment so they can be great. This <laughs> is my management philosophy. Yeah, create the environment so they can be great. That's all you need to do. Mm. Let them play. It's like imagine you're Figanjen or 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 Tato. Yeah. And then you say to them, Where's the fan? Yeah. Because creatives are, ch are children. Mm. Children are very, very creative. But we expect adults to do the same thing and then we put them in the box. How have you dealt with or handled mischievous or rebellious or just nje? but who have the talent? Uh, yeah. Sometimes they have bad habits. Other times they, they try to be great. It's like, a com it's like the difficulty with, with, with comedy, so much like. Mm. At some point, I accept like it's because <laughs> I'm talking about somebody else yeah. or something that, oh, I colonialize. I'm like, no, I'm a comedian. Sensitive. Sensitive for who? Mm. So that is where you need the emotional intelligence, sometimes a big stick, sometimes a small stick. Mm. But for me, it's about getting a presenter as mm. Leguti Wonil, as Vumela Neguti Wonil. That's where we start. Yeah. If Singa Vumela Neguti Wonil, then we've got a bigger problem. But I know also, understand one thing that creators are very, very sensitive. Mm. Very, because now, when um, Sagas, you put your heart and mind and or you, should be you yes you expose yourself yeah. vulnerable to millions of people yep people don't get that opportunity so when things backfire they backfire deeply the same way when you get do things well the praise mm. operates just as well so you need to have that understanding of root we you're not going to say to Sarah directly we turn a blind eye but we understand that you might have problems there and then. If it's a behavioral bad habit, it's yeah. one thing. But if it's in the execution of their duties, it's another thing. Yeah. Then you also look at what is this person bringing? Because believe it or not, 
to the point I was making uh, earlier, um, it's not just umsaga for umsaga's sake. They bring in money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the point that when you go and try and get imal, enge kumsagas or well gabil enge kumsagas or say en undaisela osia. Yes. And then be like, oh, because he is involved, I'm sign on. So it's not that easy. But obviously, umsagas the front pillar knows their power, but also should know that ah, he has inila na kule sampat. Yes. Kwenze kiput. Kwenze kiput. Very simple example. Gubaletum sevenzi. <laughs> you see what I'm, it's a very common thing. Yeah. You deal with it. Do you turn a blind eye? What is the impact Gobanya Basagas? Because whoever somebody can say who's on the weekend, like, ah, he in Banban. Okay. Do you have what it takes to replace Banban? <laughs> I know the answer. <laughs> Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. So it's it's it it needs it's not easy, mm -hmm. but as long as you know what things you're dealing with, it's a lot easier. There's another bigger problem where sometimes um Sagazi will go above you. Mm -hmm. And get protection. Then you are. This is now you. This. You are programs manager. Jack they go to station manager or the board. board. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I know someone who does that quite a lot. <laughs> currently, <laughs> I won't mention names. <laughs> really? Feel free. <laughs> Should he? We want names. <laughs> we want names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so it's 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 a management issue. But also sometimes you'll find the board or the station manager or manage senior management have their favorites who are not doing anything to help the product, mm. but they just have this romantic, oh, it's ban -ban, as long as so-and-so is there, is oh, there? Well, okay. <laughs> times have moved. Why are you not moving with the times? Yeah. But it's different for different things. Because some people are the embodiment of that particular station. Uh, that's the one thing. The second thing is also Toluta America and, and other stations overseas. Yeah. People retire at 70. At 60, mm. last this whole thing like, oh, 50 something, Aish. <laughs> it's time. Based on what? Yeah. Don't say usum dala, but if you still relate and resonate yeah. with the market, mm. what is the reason? Mm. I mean, this is not your traditional professional's job. Mm. There's relevance, yeah. So if you're relevant and the station still works, the market. Uh, can 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 you know warms up to yeah. your type of presentation? Yeah. My last question, and we've agreed with the crew that this is going to be part one. So Uzoboya Makosi, okay. I have a personal opinion mm -hmm. about yourself mm -hmm. as a radio presenter. Mm -hmm. Is that you, one you are underrated? Would, oh. would you agree to that? And what what, what what have been the causes of that? Two. You underestimate yourself, I think, because if you had gone into certain regions in this country and they discovered what Kunma Kosi Kosa, this person, with so much to offer, wow, people would have a different opinion about what they've heard of on radio. So yes, A and B. Pen so, um, in no particular order, Sagas. Is that addressed in the book, the underestimation? Maybe not as much as it should, but okay. there's a context. Okay. The simple context is this. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. Even now. <laughs> no way. So, and also I'm mindful, I got on this journey by accident. Yeah. So at any point I'm like, I... I'm not invested. Thirty years late, I'm not really invested. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I I I whatever my radio persona might be, yeah. I'm actually very modest and down to earth. That's yeah. just me. Yeah. But you need to be close to me to know that I'm not telling you a story. Yeah. That's the first thing. So underrated is about I, I personally maybe care, maybe don't care because I understand enough of the system that sometimes they are favorites. It's not always about your talent. That's the sad truth. Okay. And we're in an era now where people care, care less about the talent than what they can do with you or what you can do for them. Mm. Because like any popular medium, even look at a, a simple example like music. You don't have the most talented singers mm. at times, mm -hmm. but they sell because of the machinery. Mm -hmm. As opposed to somebody who's very talented who will be a threat because they know their worth, right? 
Um, so, if I'm underrated, I hear people like yourself saying great things about me. And I'm like, nah, I'm not really. <laughs> then the second thing, uh, the point about um, maybe underestimating myself, mm. is that I always want to stay grounded. But one thing I do know, that in as much as I have a humble or modest, I think I am, I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. Given uh, the platform. Given the platform. Mm. And this is what I've touched on in the book. However shy and modest or whatever, it's weird when a shy person is given a platform. Given the platform. And they do things. But my course, They do things. Given the platform waiting to say come or knocking or breaking down the door. So it's, it's, it's about, I think, what's weird in, 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 in how I'm, 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 I close the book. Yeah is to say, in radio, I've been giving of myself to people. And people have received it warmly yeah. and excited about what they perceive as my talent or my gift. Yeah. I haven't asked myself, what do I want to do? What gives me joy? Mm. And I, I literally, and I think I, I touch either on the back of the book or maybe in the front, Uguti, this book is about me putting my radio career in a particular box. Okay. I'm now beginning my life. Wow. I now know my worth. Uh, so if I'm to go back to be on earth, it, it's going to be on my terms. Mm. I know I can teach, I can present, mm -hmm. I can manage, I can coach, mm. I can mentor, I can write, I can speak. Can you pay? I can teach it. <laughs> 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 so, so, so look, it's, 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 it's something, I've, it's not the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. But I think also I suffer from imposter syndrome. Mm. Where I'm, when people talk mm. about me in... It's the devil, that, that thing. You know what I mean? Sure. When they talk about me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Then they're like, no, but dude, how can you be relevant over 30 years and think it's a mistake? I'm like, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm always, and I've seen too many examples of people who have big egos, mm. and I never want to be that want guy. Be so maybe it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. But I think I'm now operating in spaces beyond radio, but radio will always be a part of me, yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. And, in, and, and in those spaces, it's a new challenge. And it's, it's also the point about how I feel, had I wrote the book earlier, yeah. I'd have robbed myself, because the last seven years have been more enriching and rewarding to me mm -hmm. than the previous. Because in the previous, I was literally just Musagas. Yeah. But then I formed a radio training school. I was in management. Hey, uh, there was that. Yes, dude. There was that. Ah, there's, there's a lot. Let's hold it there. Um, you're going to come back. Kuning o kugete. Kulen o kolena. Kotwage, igu pige in the meantime before you come back. Igu plais ngay tola koning wa ati noguti. What is there going to be like a huge launch? Where's, where's the whole thing going to be right? So, uh, the book, Nizolele Msagazweni, is out and it's only available uh, on my socials. Okay. So, that radio guy is at A, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Click on the link and then they'll tell you how they deliver it to you. Yeah. So, it's a career. At the, unfortunately, at the moment, it's hard copy. Mm -hmm. We're going to work on the uh, uh, downloadable. Yeah. And then I'd also like it translated into Siswati, my mother nice, tongue, nice. Sizulu, and English. Nice. But what's great about this book, and I think it's when we can close it, it's given birth to a TV show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so more information on your socials? That radio guy is today. Ah, fantastic. For everything, TV show, book. Book me, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one of the best MCs. Actually, Gugela Wena doing corporate MCing. Ilana Mengabon and Abuela Kona, and it hasn't gone too badly. I must say. Eh, anything to help. <laughs> Thanks for the commission. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still know my course because this is a boy for part B. Um, part two. And ten but we talk about the language. I'm still getting enriched so much. So ngai ngapala esing script esing adverts esa um part one because I was a script writer and lagwa gena kona i i character yake kilo adverts where he poye sawati kuagubi. Go basi yak valela manch. <laughs>
Thank you so much for coming through, man, and all Thank the best. You, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Makosi Kwasi. Spongakulu kutala nawe, kuzugube ngo kuzaya, siya bongakulu bugelu kozi FM TV. Bye-bye.